Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a very interesting and special episode to bring it to you, and it is about the biggest fashion launch in the globe, and that is Louis Vuitton and Supreme Collection launch. And I'm gonna share with you my experience in the LA pop up store, and after that, I wanna share what I purchased. And let's get started, I can't wait to show you. I know what you guys thinking, you're saying, oh my god, what did you get, you know? So this is what I bought from the Louis Vuitton and Supreme Pop-Up in Los Angeles. But for first, let's talk about the experience. Oh my goodness, I don't think I ever wait in the line and um, to buy anything really. I mean, that's, I don't do that. So it's very interesting. So um, first, I want to let you know the pop-up store. I have my cheat sheets right here, I don't even remember. So they pop, uh, the the launch for Louis Vuitton and Supreme, the pop-up, starting in July, June 30. And there were Sydney, Seoul, Korea, Beijing, Paris, London, Miami, and Los Angeles. And starting July July 14, there's going to be different locations start launching the Supreme Collection. I'm going to put a list below on my comment area so you can see what store and what location. But let's talk about the pop-up in Los Angeles. I didn't go for the first day because uh, I was stuck at the airport because I missed my connection from Dallas to Los Angeles. But anyway, so I went for the second day uh, for the Los Angeles pop-up store and it was in the LA Art District. So I found I found that location is a very, um, it kind of matched the supreme uh, principle and their philosophy. And when I got there, there's about maybe, I got there around 12 o'clock and and just so you guys know this, I know I may not get anything because pop-up like this is not always guaranteed. So by the time I got there, there's about 50 people in front of me. And how they work is this, it's very interesting. As you approach to the in the front of the line, they start register you. So they will ask you that are you currently a customer or you're a new customer? So they use the iPad to register you. And um they're gonna ask for email address. You can decline or you can accept that so they can send you information. And then they'll give you a little ticket. So then the security, and by the way, while I was waiting there, I never see so many policemen around me. Is that crazy? I think there was at least, at least 10 LAPD, um, LAPD right in front of the pop-up store. And we're like, oh my God, it's so intense. And everybody was in high over. It's, it's really, really interesting. So. They give you a ticket and then right before you walk in, they will collect your ticket and when you walk into the door, immediately they want you to give them your handbag, your wallet, your anything including phone. They don't want nothing. So basically, you walk in with nothing to see the store. So after you drop everything off at the locker, they give you the ticket and uh, this is so unreal. And then they assign you an SA, and I can tell you they are not your. I don't think they are traditional LV, Louis Vuitton salesperson. I think they just hire. I'm not really sure. But anyway, the guy I forgot his name. He's really nice. Immediately he looked at my name. He said, oh, "Welcome to a uh, Supreme Pop Up, Supreme Louis Vuitton Pop Up." My name is so and so. So this is how we work. You have 20 minutes. Are you kidding me? They give you 20 minutes. So he said, "We're gonna follow your store," and then. Uh, you're gonna tell me what you want and then we're gonna go back to see do we have it and you, if you don't see in the store right now display we don't have it anymore so I'm thinking oh my god I want something red I want red item and of course the prince of our red so I walk in there it's like I don't see anything red it's all gone nada zero there's no red I was like oh my god and I was debating and thinking, okay, well, if it doesn't know red, maybe I should wait because I'm going to New York on July 14, so I can go to the Soho store. But I was like, what if, what if I miss this part right here? So you know how this feeling that you got 20 minutes, clock is tick, 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 and you're like, what should I get? So I saw the two, um, two bags, I, I will show you later. I said, okay, I've scrubbed those two, I was going to get the shoes, but at the end, I only get two bags. So I said, I want those two uh, bags, and they said, Oh, each person can only get one little goods. 
I'm so excited. So apparently uh, in Los Angeles, there's a number of a quality you can buy. And I hear from other my uh, fans all around the globe, they told me that different countries have a different policy, different regulation. But at least for LA, uh, they say you can buy only one little goods. But I was able to get two, and I'll show you why later. And then so I, I told him what I want, tons up basically, but he was really nice though. The truth is when you go to the pop-up store, it's not what you want, it's what they have left. That's what it is. Unless your first 50 people walk in on the first day. Other than that, you basically gonna get what I have available. So I, I told him what I want and he said, okay, you can step out now. So I step out and then the lady chart, uh, no, the guy said, oh no, we have your item and we're gonna meet you outside. So he escorted me out and I pay another line and then I pick up my purchase. So the the overall experience is very interesting because uh, for the money I spent there that day in 20 minutes, if you buy in a Louis Vuitton store, you will get champagne, you will get like a customer service, you're sitting down. Over there it's kind of like, what do you want? You get it now, we don't guarantee you have it, you need to go pay, you're gonna pay. And you're gonna pick up your item and they want you to leave the store immediately. I always try to, t I know I can take a picture inside, I also take a picture outside. So I was taking one picture and security is already walking to me, it's like very intense. It's like, dude, come on, relax, I'm outside, I'm not inside the street. But anyway, so the whole experience is so unreal. Uh, it's a very cool and I hope that that will help you when you go to the pop-up in the near future. And now, let me show you what I got. Okay, so enough talking about my experience. Now I want to show you what I got. Ta-da! So honestly, this two piece is not what I want originally. I wasn't even looking at these two pieces. I was like, I, I have my heart set on those red supreme collection. I want a t-shirt, I want a hoodie, I want a scarf. I mean, I want, I want those very, um, the key item, iconic item, but seriously, when I walk in, it really feel kind of disappointment. Um, it just, you know, I told myself I should have been here the first day. But anyway, so I thought, well, I don't want to walk away with empty handed. So I bought two pieces I think I may like. But I gotta tell you this really real quick. When I bought this in the store, my feeling was like I dropped so much money. I feel like I really not buying what I want. But when I come home and look at it, it's like, okay, yeah, it should look really cute. Because in the store, you don't have time to look at it. You just have to pick and grab and go. So now I want to show you the smallest item first. There's only two pieces I want to show you. So first is, um, I'm not kidding you. After I pay, they just hand me this bag and then that was it. It was like, I don't know, it's just very different experience. They still give you the envelope in Louis Vuitton and there's a receipt obviously. And uh, they told me that I can return in any Louis Vuitton store in 15 days if I don't want it. So let's look at the first item I purchased. It's actually in a Louis Vuitton box. I was very happy. Um, there was really nothing, just a, a ribbon. So I, I think they're in a hurry. It's very intense. Okay, let's see. It's very small. So maybe you already know what I purchased. Are you ready to see this? This is the cutest thing ever. Ta-da! Oh my god, take it all in. Look at this beautiful little uh, key charm bag. This one is the Apollo Nano bag, mini backpack uh, key charm, I would say that because it really is a key charm, not so much a backpack. But this is so adorable. I'm gonna get closer to show you guys the detail. So I wanna show you how big it is, it's very tiny. So the Y is about, I would say about five inches wide from this point to the high is around, around six inch. So it's a very small and the depth is about 2.5 inches or three inches if you want to add the outside pocket. So it's very, very small and has a Supreme logo right here with a Louis Vuitton. And the, the actual uh, material is kind of distressed, uh, kind of, um, how do you say that? Kind of like a uh, antique looking on the top, so it's really pretty though. And um, the details, it's really, really cute, I gotta tell you that. But for the price, I feel like it's a little bit high. Um, but again, you know, when I pay Carlito, that's the same price almost, so. So let me just open this real quick. It, it actually opens, so in here, it tells us that Louis Vuitton Paris, made in France, and it's a men's collection 2017. 
I didn't know it was that much. I thought it was 1850, it was 1950. Oh my goodness, it's a lot of money. So inside it's the uh, fabric lining. The whole thing is a, it's a fabric, it's not a leather. Um, it's a camel color. And what's really cool about this, uh, if you look very closely, you can see all the LV logo all around that. It's really, really very, very pretty. And then in the front has a small pocket right here. And I'm telling you again, it's not something that you will be really carry. It's going to be more like accessory. But it's very, very cute. Okay, let's move on to the next item. Okay, the next item is kind of, I don't know, how I show it right now. So when I bought it, it was in a dust bed. It was not even a box. I say, uh, do you have a box? The guy say, we well, right now, you can always go to Louis Vuitton store and get a box. I mean... I don't know, I just feel like I spent a lot of money. To me, that's a lot of money. I really kind of want to have a box and ribbons, but that's okay, you know, because I don't want to complain too much. They say, oh, you cannot take this. I'll be like, oh my god. So anyway, so it's a large item right here. And like I told you, all the, all the items that I want, like key charm, the little uh, document bag, they don't have it. It's so out. So look at this. It's actually really, really cute though. It's the Keep Off 45 Camel color. I uh, will um, Supreme Collections. Look at this. It's, you know what, this I know I will use. Um, it's a very, very cute. It's your standard Keep Off 45. But again, the, the hardware is all being distressed. So it's more like a military, military looking. And then the, it's the camouflage letter around um, design. But again, I'm gonna get closer to show you. The whole thing you can, if you see it very closely, there's a uh, stitching, I think it was called stitching, on the Louis Vuitton logo. All around it, but it's very, very um, unnoticeable unless you get closer. Because when I was in the store, I didn't even see that. All I see was a dark color. And I also have a Supreme logo uh, print, I mean, stitches right here. Um, it's really, really cute though. I mean, I, I'm telling you right now, I will definitely use this. And there's one thing that's really cool. I guess I have a keep all before, but I bought it for a long time. Inside, it actually comes with a little, another additional pocket right here. And it's it just, um, let me see. It's, um, it's a two lining in there. It's also, a, I think it's a cotton of material lining. I'm not really sure. But you know, it's, it's cute. So now I want to show you the reason why I bought this two piece. I swear, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a sucker for um, display. So, oh my God, look at how cute is this. So this is how they display in the store. Any, uh, any uh, letter goods, even though this is not letter, but they still count that, you can only get one piece. But the second day they say, well, this is such a small item, I can get two. But I, they told me on the first day, you can either get this or you can get this. So one person. So I was actually, that was lucky. I was gonna, I was, gonna, I was able to get two. So I'm very happy with that. So I definitely see myself wear this, a very casual day for summer. I think it's so cute. What do you guys think? Leave a comment below, what do you think is this? It's super cute. I totally see myself wear this when I'm in Asia in September and October, you know? Oh my god, so cute. I really hope that you enjoyed this episode, Mr. Genoin One. Like I said, I'm gonna put all the door gonna launch the Supreme starting July 14 in the below area. Uh, so you can take a look. And hopefully um, you will find something you like when you go there. Do you notice the lights changing a little bit? That's because my dog is Scarlet. She's moving around in the curtain area. Yeah, stay over here, Scarlet. Don't move too much. Um, so I want to say thank you so much for taking time to watch my video. Like I say, when I purchased those two items in the store, I really walk away feel like, I think I want to return it because I there's a lot of money. And I don't feel like I'm, I'm making a good investment. Um, but then now I look at it, oh my God, it's really, really cute, so I'm going to keep it. Anyway, so any comment, leave it below. If you already, um, actually, <laughs> if you, you also went to the pop-up store in, near you, I will leave a comment. I want to hear your experience too because it'll be so cool to exchange how we are uh, different experiences. And uh, I definitely will go to the Soho store on the 14th because I'll be in New York for the big event on the 15th. So I'll definitely check it out. Hopefully, I get a couple pieces there too. All right, so I want to say thank you so much for watching my video. Share my video, and most important thing, subscribe my video. That means a lot to me. And of course, follow all my social media right over here. 
and I will see you guys next week. Bye!